Hello there. I think we're finally live. Yeah, I can. I'm going to shut this down. Okay. Can you hear me? Can you see me? I would like a yes. Please tell me if you can hear and see me. But I'm going to go to the matter of the... Yeah. Yes, you can hear me. Good. Okay, this is the most... most good. Somebody asked, asked me about this Finnish... Old Finnish religion stuff earlier on and... Uh, then I watched this video from a, this guy's name was a Stephen McNallan who made this video about the Votan network. I will put the link below. I will actually put the link there on the chat right now. I think it was this one or then the awakening of Votan or Odin. I will put the links to the chat. But I think it was the Walton Network. I can't remember for exactly sure because I watched them yesterday. So, uh, Stephen had this idea that uh, he would be taking these... I have, uh, I have those horns there, but I didn't take them with me. I forgot, sorry. But he has these horns for blood. These are... Germanic slash uh, Scandinavian ritual and what he, he was going to do with them was that he was going to try to awaken the European spirit by taking these horns and then going to the highest spot uh, in, in the, some of the highest spots in Europe and take these horns and then perform this blood ritual there for the gods and especially for Odin or Wotan, whatever you might call him um, to honor him and to pledge allegiance to the to these Germanic Scandinavia gods who are his blood and uh, also to receive then from them strength for our struggles in this in these hard times in Europe and this those videos are ex excellent and you should watch them so this may started a process in my mind and uh, I'm going to take part in this from the Finnish perspective but it's a little bit different when I do it, do it in a way that is actually proper Finnish way to take part in it. Because uh, Old Odin or Woden uh, is a Germanic and Scandinavic god. And even if the Finnish pantheon has... Uh, it's not that far away from the this these traditions. It is in fact different. And I want to do it in a little bit more Finnish way. So first of all, because you wanted to know about this stuff, so I'm telling now. And the I have to understand that even where I see that there is this uh Stephen talks about this and the uh, Vari talks about it. Many people talk about how these European gods are all related. But still, because I want to be true to my blood, I have to do it my way. And uh, in a way that it goes, I think, goes well along with the Finnish gods and how they are. First of all, you have to understand that in uh, this Germanic slash uh, Scandinavic or Nor Norse or Asatru. You have these gods who are called uh, Odin and then you have this god who is called Thor. Uh, in Finnish mythology, 
or spirituality, original spirituality, the original religion of Finns. Well, that, that is, first of all, that is very complicated and it's very layered and there are very, some of the gods are extremely old and some of them are only old. But when it comes to this connection to the sky god, uh, we call our sky god Ukko, which basically means Aya, which means an old man. And uh, he is a little bit like Odin and Thor combined. He is not like Odin or Thor, he is more like the both of them. And uh, he is also called the Over God. But it is not clear if this Over means that he is the God who is over other gods, which he may be. But on the other hand, uh, the, uh, this Over could also relate to the fact that it's more like the word up or high, which relate, is in relation to the fact that he is a sky god. So the aspects that uh, this Ukko has is that he is the god of thunder and rain. Rain is very important in agricultural sense. And uh, the high festival in Finland, the summer festival, is called Ukon Vakat, which means basically that is the uh, celebration of Ukko, the, the over god. The midsummer festival where we bur burn these bonfires, which have, we have been doing since the Bronze Age. Many people don't know this anymore, but it's, the, it's for the, to honor Ukko. It is, and Ukko is a thunder god, he's a sky god, he's a god of the rain, but he is also a wise old man, has these aspects of Odin, and uh, also, a, also in some sense a war god as well, and has this mighty hammer and so on and so on. So there's that, and I wanted you, you all to know that. But then there's a different thing. The thing that came to my mind from all of this, that I wanted to do, and I want, I wanted to do, and I'm going to do it this summer, if God's willing. And the thing is this, when the Swedish Christians attacked Finland and many Finns in some situations were baptized against their will by the sword and we have these lakes in Finland called Katumajärvet, Katumajärvi, which means a regret lake and especially I'm part Tavastian which means that it's one of the tribes in Finland and uh, one of the most important, perhaps, of these uh, regret lakes is uh, in the lands of the Tavastians, which we call Hamalaiset, Hame, Tav Tavastia. And there is this lake. When the Christians came and forced people to be baptized, near this lake then, the Tavastians then grabbed a Christian priest and force this priest to remove this bap baptizement in this lake, in this so-called regret lake, to free them from Christianity. Because as you should know, what happens in this Christian uh, baptism is that they take the, your soul and then it belong, they give you a, basically an Abrahamic name. And uh, they basically bind your soul to this, this Abrahamic God in that ritual. And the way to break this, to free your soul from this Christian enslavement, you need to go to these 
regret lakes and wash away the baptism that you have been given to be to have your soul return to you and your kinfolk so it's a very important ritual and i have not done that yet in my life even if i haven't been christian for like ever but i have been baptized my children haven't been baptized so they do, they don't have this problem but this lake they say has been formed from the tears of Ilmatar and Ilmatar is I will have some English stuff for him Ilmatar from Wikipedia <laughs> I don't need to translate on the fly uh, uh, the virgin of spirit of the air the, um, the name Ilmatar is derived from the Finnish word Ilma meaning air the suffix tar denoting a female spirit thus her name literally means female air spirit which is also called Luonotar, which means female spirit of nature. And she was impregnated by the sea and wind and thus became the mother of Vainamöinen. And Vainamöinen is a Gandalf. You know Vainamöinen as Gandalf. So, this lake where you can rid yourself, you can get rid of this baptism in any lake. But it's best done in these regret lakes and I'm going to go to one of these regret lakes, regret lakes where this baptism has been washed away ages ago in this lake that is being formed by the tears of Ilmatar, this sky goddess, a very very old sky goddess. So. I'm going to go there, I'm going to do a ritual in addition to going to this regret lake and washing away the baptism. And this is why, this is half of how I will take part in this so-called the Wotan Network's effort to awaken the spirituality and the strength of the Europeans and, I, I, and in, ad in addition to this there is a close to this regret lake there is this place where we have this old which is called Miekakivi which is a called it's called sword stone or so um, or sword rock and nobody knows how why it why it is like that, but it is a, it's a stone like this, and it looks like there are there are like these uh, sword blade like sword blades had been <clears throat> used against the rock, so that there are kind of places for a sword a sword blade, and this is a holy stone, and this holy stone is. The holy stone of Turisas. And Turisas is a very, very complicated god in Finnish pantheon, also called Iku Turso and Tursas. And this also, well, this is what there are, he has many aspects and he appears to appear in a little bit different forms in different ages of our native religion. So he has an aspect where he is this thousand-horned, thousand-headed, bearded one, a mighty, mighty octopus god. But there is also that there are there is some relation to Tyr, the Scandinavian god of war, and especially in Tavastia, this part is this aspect is important, and it is said about this. Turisas, this has been mentioned of the god, Turisas voiton antoi sodast, which means Turisas brought victory in war. So this stone is the holy place of a, 
old, old Finnish war god. And it's next to this lake of this sky goddess. And I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this lake, I'm going to do a ritual there. I'm going to do, well, I'm going to do it my way. I know how to do it. And I'm not going to be, I'm going to go basically do it in a generic pagan European manner. I'm going to listen to my Finnish instincts within the in creating the ritual there and getting rid of the baptizement and taking into a, this these mm, horns that these uh, Odinists are basically using. I'm, I have those horns. I will take this horn and I will take water from this lake, which are the tears of the goddess of nature or the air god and I will take that water to the stone of the war god and I will do another ritual there and this is the way I, how I'm going to take part in the effort of the water network to awaken the strength of the Europeans and the the strength of the Finns Thank you. This is all I wanted to tell you about this because you wanted to know about this stuff, so I'm telling you. And uh, I'm going to very quickly check if you have any questions, but I'm probably not going to be answering a lot of them. You just need to check out the videos from this Steve guy. I think they were also on Red Eyes TV. And what I'm going to do is, that when I'm going to do this, I'm going to take my um, recording device with me and I'm going to take short clips of some of these things what I'm going to do there. And I'm going to compile a little bit Let's say one or two minute video about this so you can see that I have done this thing. And I'm going to uh, post it in the web then. And and I will have something like the water network in the subject. And it will be available in my channel. In, I'm not going to say which day I'm going to go because it's not that... It's not extremely close, so it will take me the whole day. But this is the thing that I'm... This is my way of taking part in, awake, in, in the effort to awaken our strength as Europeans to connect us back to our strongest aspects. So we can get through these hard times and make it through these hard times because we are threatened now and we surely can use these very, very mighty aspects of our gods and their blessings. And we need to feel that they are with us in these times. So I'm going to do these things. Thank you.